I am Dr. Alice Reed. I am internal medicine, and I am traditional internal medicine. Have been out at the beach now 21 years, and I have always had an interest in wellness. So naturally, I have lots of patients who bring me information, bring me ideas, and I go to the anti-aging conferences. But about two years ago, one of my patients, a retired anesthesiologist, Dr. Sharon Phillips, she came to me with Protandum. Look at the ingredients, and I say, well, you know, I take most of that, and they're good herbs, that's a real good product, that's great. Well, it's Tuesday night, I'm whiny, 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 it's school night, as I call it, and I go, I call my husband, Bill, and I say, we gotta go to UNF tonight, we gotta hear this guy talk about this product, it's network marketing, I'm extremely negative, but we go. We get in the car and we go, and I get there, and we're sitting in our little seats, and out walks Joe McCord. And as he is on the video, he's got a presence and he just starts talking about oxidative stress and his research and pro tandem and I am I'm on fire I am just so excited I have just returned from the anti-aging conference in Orlando the um, for A4M big 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 thousands of people big stuff and they talk about genetics and changing your genes and putting your stem cells in the deep freeze and all this kind of outside the box conversation and a lot of it was genetics and having your genes do the work so after I'm listening to this, I said, wow, this is just amazing divine intervention. So what I want to start with is the oxidative stress. Now, we used to call that in the 70s free radical damage. Everybody talked about free radicals. We are, our body makes 13 sextillion free radicals a day. That's 13 with 26 zeros after it. So free radical damage is everywhere, and we've always talked about that, and we combat that with antioxidants. Now, what we didn't know and what we discovered, what Joe McCord discovered is that we have a set of genes that makes antioxidants. Those are the survival genes. They make antioxidants, antifibrotics, and anti-inflammatories. So when we are young, we have a set of genes that is working for us, combating a million free radicals per second for us, and thus neutralizing the free radical damage. Because what happens is when your free radical damage is high and your antioxidants are low, that difference is called oxidative stress. And that's now the buzzword. As opposed to free radical damage, we use the term oxidative stress. And as he mentioned in the video, oxidative stress is linked to hundreds of diseases, um, probably almost all diseases, and uh, it is the cause of gene mutations, inflammation, etc. So the goal is to decrease oxidative stress by neutralizing your free radicals with the antioxidants. So as I said, when we were young, we had a set of genes that poured out antioxidants, combating a million free radicals per second, really giving us a chance on that 13 sextillion number. But somewhere along the way, in our 20s, that process kind of peters out. So Joe McCord, as he spent the last you know, 40 years in the lab trying to figure out how to wake up that process. And in the 90s, they discovered that inside your cell, there's a messenger called a NERF2 messenger, a messenger that speaks to your DNA and actually is the one that did that work. Would go to your DNA and tell your DNA to kick out all those great, great um, genes of survival genes, antioxidant products, and also kind of calm down the bad genes. And that's why when we're young, we're, we don't age. We grow and grow and we're healthy. So what has happened is everyone has been trying to discover how to wake up this NERF2 pathway and do that. Well, that is protandum. So people go, well, what is protandum? This is too good to be true. I can't believe this video. Protandum is a NERF2 activator. It is not an antioxidant. It is a natural product that tells your DNA to make your God-given antioxidants at the tune of a million per second. So that is what protandum is. And this is not something that Protandum made up. The NERF2 messenger was discovered in the 90s, and there are other pharmaceutical people trying to figure out how to wake up this NERF2 pathway, and Protandum has done it. Protandum is five nutraceuticals. It's turmeric, which has been around for centuries, anti-inflammatory, anti-cancer properties, green tea, also been around for many, many years, uh, milk thistle, fab fabulous for cleansing the liver, two herbs, ashwagandha and bacopa. And those are very good herbs for adrenal stress and mental clarity. So those are the five nutrients in protandum. They're very low doses. They're uh, synergistically combined. So as I was saying to Sharon, Dr. Phillips, I was saying, oh, I take all those individually. That doesn't how it works. It, it, it's the synergy of the way he's put it together in the nutraceutical product. And that, that is what protandum is. Now, people will say, you know, well, that's just too good to be true. I don't believe this. This is crazy. 
we send them to PubMed.gov. PubMed, publicmedical.gov, government, PubMed.gov is the NIH website. The NIH is the National Institute of Health. That's where all our research and data is. If you were to actually go to PubMed.gov and put in oxidative stress, you're going to get close to over 100,000 articles on oxidative stress and disease. So we send people to PubMed.gov and put in the search box Protandum. Protandum has 11 peer-reviewed studies. 11 peer-reviewed studies. Peer-reviewed studies, P-E-E-R, P-E-R, peer review, those are studies done by, obviously, your peers. They're peers to Dr. Joe McCord, other PhDs, other MDs who are doing research. And he sends his data to these individuals. They're not even together. They're in individual places. And they all review his data. And all of the individuals involved have to agree with the results for it to be peer-reviewed and to be uh, published. So Protandum has 11 peer reviews. If you go to PubMed.gov and put in Protandum, you're going to start with the most recent and go backwards. So I'm going to call the first peer review actually the, the most distant peer review. And that peer review, the first three peer reviews that were ever written on Protandum, describe exactly and prove exactly what I just told you all. The first peer review proves that Protandum in 30 days decreases oxidative stress 40%. They measure oxidative stress by T-bars. T-bars is a peroxidase measurement. We know that high T-bars has always been linked to cardiovascular disease. So protandum in 30 days was proven by measuring T-bars to decrease oxidative stress 40%. It also showed in that first peer review that within 120 days, which is three months, which is usually about the time people really start to notice a difference, that the SOD, superoxide dismutase, and catalase, two of the biggest antioxidants we have that our DNA makes through protandum, that that is upregulated at 30 and 40 percent. So this is all proven in the first uh, peer review study. The second peer review proves that it is the synergy of the five products. It is the way he put them together, the strength and the amount that he used, the synergy of the product that makes protandum and NERF2 activated. They tagged the NERF2 pathway and saw that protandum lit up that pathway and it was proven to be a NERF2 activator. So when I was saying, oh, I take all that, that is not that is not going to do it. It's got to be in the perfect synergy, and there are patents for that. So we have four patents on that synergy of those five products. The third peer review is is a great one. It proves that protandum increases glutathione 300 percent. Now glutathione is probably one of the biggest antioxidants. Glutathione is huge, or I should say the absence of glutathione is huge in movement disorders, Parkinson's, uh, any learning disabilities, autism. So glutathione is huge. People are trying to get glutathione all the time. When you go to these anti-aging conferences and you go into the expo, there are several people trying to sell you glutathione. Glutathione is a very big molecule. It's very hard to absorb. So people try to get it through IV injections or nebulizers, but glutathione is huge. And protandum stabilizes the enzyme that converts to glutathione and thus upregulates glutathione 300 percent and that is proven in the peer review the third peer review there are studies with um, rats and pulmonary hypertension there are studies with mice and muscular dystrophy there is a study with mice and skin cancer the fourth peer review uh, they took the mice and they divided them in two groups. And in one group, they divided that into two groups. In one group of them, they gave just normal mice feed. The other group, they gave protandum, and those mice did fine. Over here, they divided up the group, normal mice feed, protandum, and they painted these mice with toxic carcinogenic product. The group of mice in the normal feed got covered with multiple skin tumors, 100% of the mice. The group of mice with the protandum feed got covered only 60% were covered with tumors, and it was markedly less number of tumors. That's pretty impressive that 33% of the mice did not get affected at all by the carcinogenic product. And LSU is continuing to do a lot of skin cancer studies, so I think that the skin information is going to come out to be very impressive. One of the other peer reviews that I, I really find fascinating is they, we know that when you take a vein out of someone's leg for a bypass, you're taking a very low venous structure and you're putting it, you're turning it into an artery, putting it across their heart and making it an artery. That would be a lot of oxidative stress. We know that within a couple of weeks, that venous structure will get a little bit of thickening, about 50% thickening of the lining of that new product, that new structure, because of the oxidative stress. And we accept that. 
and therefore we have them on statins and aspirin and other products to try to keep that vein as stable as possible. Well, when they took a human vein and they bathed it in protandum and they exposed it to that oxidative stress, turning it into an artery, there was zero thickening of the lining of the structure. So there was no intimal thickness. That's huge. That's a peer review, and that is huge. There are other peer reviews, and the most recent peer review just came out, and I have not reviewed it thoroughly, but it's going to be about coronary artery disease and the oxidative stress to that to coronary artery disease. Patients on protandum, the, are, there's a decrease in the damage to the lining of the coronary arteries. So that's going to come out as well. More and more is going to come out. There's going to be other studies coming out uh, through the next several months to year on protandum. So it's a fascinating, fascinating, uh, amazing product. Well, I just, I can't say enough about it. I can't say enough about the science, uh, but I do think it's real important. Nrf2 activator, not an antioxidant, but it makes your own DNA. Make your God-given antioxidants at the tune of eradicating a million free radicals per second. So we have a, you know, a way to combat that free radical damage and decrease our oxidative stress.